Welcome back. Baseball gets final approval. Final approvals are in from the Fredericksburg City Council to approve our new ballpark set to open in 2020 for the High A Carolina League team, the Potomac Nationals. A 5-0 vote sealed the deal when three contingencies were met. The contingencies were a ground lease and title commitment, a binding loan commitment letter, and approvals by three baseball agencies, the Carolina League, Minor League Baseball, and Major League Baseball. The club will relocate from Prince William County to our $35 million ballpark in the Fredericksburg Celebrate Virginia development. The club will issue bonds for the stadium project through the Fredericksburg Economic Development Authority. The Department of Economic Development and Tourism approved revenue bonds in a total amount not to exceed $39,850,000 and will receive an annual fee that starts at $35,000. That amount then declines as the loan is paid down. Construction will begin in a few months. In addition, the organization launched a Name the Team contest. Fans will eventually give, a, the, give the team a name that will be used when the club moves to Fredericksburg. This 2019 season will be the Potomac Nationals' last season at their current stadium, Northwest Federal Field, at Fitzer Stadium in Woodbridge, where they opened in 1984 as the Prince William Pirates. Numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics show that the women to men's earnings ratio in Virginia has ranged from a low point of 72% in 2000 to a high point of 84% in 2014. How is the gender pay gap determined? The Bureau of Labor Statistics takes the median income of all full-time working women and divides it by the median earnings of all working full-time men. By this standard, it looks as though women in Virginia do not make as much as their male counterparts. In fact, they're falling below the national average at 81% of what men make. However, the Bureau of Labor Statistics leaves out some important information that skew the numbers. What the charts and graphs don't show is that the career choice, position, education, and hours paid per week affect median income of males and females. For instance, Georgetown University named the five best paying college majors. Those are petroleum engineering, pharmaceutical science, math and computer science, aerospace engineering, and chemical engineering. Four of those majors are male dominated studies. Only one, pharmaceutical studies, is a female dominated enrollment. Georgetown University compiled a study of the five worst paying college hmm. majors. These are counseling and psychology, early childhood education, theology and religion, human services, and community organization. And oh, also lastly, social work. Four of the lowest paying professions are female dominated. Only one, theology and religion, is a male dominated field. It seems that men gravitate to the higher paying um, math, science, and technology fields, whereas women tend to choose lesser paying jobs in nurturing type occupations. When the Department of Labor and American Association of University Women account for and factor in the general choices men and women make pertaining to their careers, they show a wage gap that ranges between 4.8 to 7% with the American Association of University Women weighing in at about 6.6% difference. But what about pay discrepancies within a specific career choice? There are also variables that are not considered. Men tend to seek higher specialty certifications, work longer overtime hours, are more willing to relocate and dominate the higher paying dangerous jobs like working on oil rigs or refineries. Regardless of which calculations you base your argument, we all can agree that there's a discrepancy in gender pay. One potential fix is to close the greater overarching or, or even the narrower gap that takes into consideration individual choices. Um, it's to provide transparency about wages. Sheriff Fla Sarah Fleisch Fink of the National Partnership for Women and Family says an example of this 
could be having job announcements and job postings include a salary range so that people know the range an employer has in mind. And it takes some of that negotiation, or sort of the gray area, off the table. Deborah Vaggins at the American Association of University Women says another potential fix could be banning employers from asking potential employees about their salary history. Vaggins says the problem with that is if salaries have been tainted by discrimination in the past, then even a well-meaning employer might be carrying discrimination forward if they use current salary or prior salary to set current wages. Another recommendation to lessen the gap is to encourage female high school graduates and career switching adults to research and pursue in demand high paying STEM fields like the ones noted by Georgetown University. Now we go to Kara Colucci with the weekend weather report. You think she's bringing us some sunshine? Oh, I hope so. Please. And warmth. Please, Kara. Kara Colucci with your CVTV weekend weather update. All right, Friday is going to be a pretty wet one. It's going to rain majority of the day. Those rain showers don't move out until later in the evening, probably right around 8 o'clock that night. However, we're only looking at highs in the mid 50s on Friday. Saturday, we're in for a beautiful day. Those showers move on out early, early in the morning, if any appear at all. And we are looking at highs right around 70 degrees. So it's that perfect temperature to go out, get some yard work done. Who knows? Whatever is on your plate to do outdoors, you should definitely do it on Saturday. On Sunday, it's going to be slightly cloudy. and We are looking at showers late in the evening. Highs around 72 degrees on Sunday, but guess what? On Monday, those rain showers do look like they're going to be coming back, but at least we got the weekend, right? For once, it's not going to rain all weekend long, but it is going to sandwich our weekend. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, have a wonderful week. I'm Kara Colucci with your CVTV Weekend Weather. And we'll be right back.